When life doesn't go well, they blame it on something. Oh. Powder? Oh. I spent three days making this. It was not easy. Honestly, Gordon Ramsay who? I bet Gordon Ramsay can't make this. Sorry, my oven's being dramatic. Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're doing things a little bit different today. As you can see, we are currently in my kitchen and if you're wondering why the lighting is better than usual, it's because I got a ring light. And if you're wondering why the audio is crisper than usual, it's because I have my earphones plugged in, so the audio is currently coming from the microphone. So, anyway, what are we doing in the kitchen today? Well, Dragon Boat Festival is coming up. Well, by the time you're watching it, it's probably going to be the day. So, happy Dragon Boat Festival to everybody who's celebrating it. And if you're not celebrating it, what are you doing? So, Dragon Boat Festival, it's known for the Dragon Boat race, of course, but what it's even more known for is the food, which is what we're making today, Zhong. So, for anybody who don't know what it is, it's pretty much a sticky rice mixture wrapped in bamboo leaves. So, it doesn't really have an accurate... Sorry, my oven's being dramatic. So, as I was saying, it doesn't really have the best English names. It's been called rice dumplings, which, you know, it's not really a dumpling. It's also been called Chinese tamales, which, you know, it's not my favorite because it sounds like we took tamales from Mexican cuisine and made a Chinese, which couldn't be further from the truth because the only similarity between the two dishes is that they're both wrapped in leaves, which it's not even the same kind of leaves. So, a little bit of backstory behind this dish, if you're interested, is that once upon a time, there was this politician named Wat Yun. So, he decided to commit by jumping into the river. And people loved him, so they were really disheartened by, you know, his And in order to preserve his body in the river, they would throw rice wrapped in leaves into the river so that the fish would eat the Zhong instead of his corpse and that just became a tradition. I'm sitting down right now because um, I'm actually exhausted if you can't tell because it's actually currently 2 a.m. on a Thursday and if you're wondering what are you doing at this hour why aren't you in bed the prep work actually takes 12 hours. No well, it doesn't. But it has to be it has to happen 12 hours before the actual cooking so which is why we're doing it now so that I can do the actual cooking tomorrow morning, but well, today morning. So the first thing we have to do is actually to soak the dried bamboo leaves because it's hard to get fresh bamboo leaves here in London. So I got dried ones here and we're gonna soak it so it can rehydrate, rejuvenate. I have some bamboo leaves here, a little ASMR moment. got a bowl of water here and I'm just gonna put this into the water. I wish I had a bigger pot, but um, this will have to do. You know what? Let me go get a pot. I wanted to do it in a glass bowl so that, you know, you could all see it better, but I guess not. So we experienced a little bit of technical difficulty because neither the bowl nor the pot was large enough to contain all the leaves. So I had to bring out the biggest pan that I have. And right now, I have about 30 leaves soaking in here, which would make about 15 zhong. And I put the bowl on top to make sure all the leaves are weighed down. I've got some pork belly, which is the traditional kind. Speaking of which, there are actually two major categories of zhong in Chinese cuisine. You got the sweet kind, and you got the savory kind. The sweet kind is usually from the north, and the savory kind is the ones from the south. Because I'm from the south, so we're doing it the southern way. I got slightly leaner pork belly because I'm not the biggest fan of um, fatty meat. And I'm just gonna cut it into 
about like 2 cm long little cubes So, I've got my pork belly diced as you can see here and I have my MasterChef bowl. Yes, I was on MasterChef. No, I'm just kidding. Now we're gonna put all the diced pork belly into the bowl. Oh no, one fell out. Oh no, they all fell out. Never mind, it's fine, it's fine. Put it back in. They're all in the bowl now. And um, in true Asian fashion, I'm not gonna measure it. I've got here um, dark soy sauce. Just gonna put a dash of it for the color. Light soy sauce for the flavor. Put it a little heavier. The next step should be adding the cooking one, but guess what? I don't have cooking wine here because I looked too young. The lady at Sainsbury wouldn't sell me the cooking wine. It's not my fault that I look 15. It's not my fault that I don't look six minutes away from being six feet under. But uh, I get it, it's their job, you know, they don't want to get fired. So I get it. So the next best thing would be apple cider vinegar. Just gonna do a little dash. There we go. And I'm gonna go in with um, a little bit of five spice. Just do a little bit. Ginger powder, because I don't have fresh ginger, so this is the closest thing I have. And I'm just gonna mix it up with my hands, as you can see. A lot of people like to add oil into their marinade, which isn't a bad thing, but it kind of coats the meat so that the flavor cannot penetrate into the meat. So I like to add oil in the very last step to lock in the flavor and the moisture. It smells so good right now. I wish, you know, like smell of vision is a thing, but if you could just smell it, it smells so good and the color looks gorgeous. I'm just gonna cover it, perfect, and I'm gonna store this in the fridge. Perfect, that's all the work we need for tonight and I'll see you in 12 hours. Bye. Hello, welcome back. It's a new day. The leaves have been soaking for 12 hours, but we are not quite done yet with the prep work because we still have a few other things we have to soak. So I've got about 15 dried shiitake mushrooms here. We're gonna soak that. And we have 15 dried chestnuts here. That's also gonna be soaked in a bit. And I've got a big bowl of water here because we need to soak the sticky rice. We're not gonna use all of it because I'm only making 15. So one bag is about one kilogram. So I'm just gonna pour half a bag, which should be 500 grams. I'm gonna rinse the rice. I know I'm using a colander, don't come for me, but this just makes everything easier. I'm gonna wash and rinse the rice. You can see all the, the starch coming up. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse this. So I've got a bowl of clear water here. I'm just gonna put the rice in there. And then we'll let it soak for three hours. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get some water and soak the mushrooms and also the chestnuts. I'm gonna get another thing started which is peeling the salted duck eggs. So I've got six salted duck eggs right here. I can't find the egg yolks pre de -shod, so I'm gonna do it myself. You can see that it's like a bluish turquoise teal, a very light teal color. I'm just gonna crack it open. There we go. 
another perfect egg yolk. Just gonna put this one down. See you in a bit when everything's done soaking. Bye. Perfect. Now that we've got everything cleaned up, I've got all the egg whites in one bowl and all the egg yolks in my ramekin, we can finally get into the wrapping process. So, I wish you could smell because this everything here just smells so good. It smells like I'm in a bamboo forest. The bamboo leaves, they've been soaking for so long. You can see how rehydrated they are. It just smells so good. I'm gonna fold them the other way and then put them back so that it gives them a bit more flexibility. And I've got the rice here. I'm gonna go rinse my sticky rice and then we can get the wrapping process started. So I've gone and drained all the rice. So as you can see here, we got all the sticky rice here. They're so soft right now. If you just take a little grain, I don't know if you can see, if you just take a little grain, you can easily chew it. And it just tastes like you have a mochi exploding in your mouth. And before we go into the wrapping, I know I keep saying this, I every single time I say we're gonna do the wrapping and there's another step, but trust me, this is the very, very, very last step we have to do before the whole wrapping process. We're just gonna season the rice with pretty much the same seasonings that we put in our pork belly. So I have, um, again, dark soy sauce for the color, because you want your sticky rice to look almost golden brown at the end. Just a little bit. The light soy sauce for the flavor. Five spice. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna mix this all together. And if it's not enough, I'll add a bit more. It looks about right to me. So I'm just gonna quickly mix everything. Make sure each and every grain of rice is well coated in the soy sauce and the five spice powder. Oh. Honestly, is it even my video if nothing goes wrong? Great. Oh, okay. Just gonna put this aside. And now we can start with the wrapping process. Have I ever done this before? No. Do I know how to do it? Not really. I've seen a few videos. There are different ways to do it. But the ones that I like the most are the triangular ones. Like a tetrahedron. So like, let me see. Four sides are all triangles. So like four triangles put together making a pyramid. So from what I've learned, we're gonna start off with um, two leaves. You want two leaves and then you wanna make sure that what you can see one side is shiny and smooth. The other side, it's got all the veins and grooves running along. So you want the shiny side on the inside touching the rice so that the rice doesn't stick to the leaves. This one is a little imperfect, but it's fine. We love them all the same. So I'm just gonna cut off the bottom. Oh God, this is harder than I thought. We're not even into the wrapping process. And then we cut off the top. You don't really have to cut it off, but I just want it to look pretty. So I'm cutting everything off. Overlap them, not completely, with like about the width of a thumb in between. You take the leaf, take the end, wrap it like this so that you get a little cone shape. Okay, okay, maybe this isn't as hard as I thought. You see that I'm folding it on the inside so that it can ensure that no rice is gonna fall off. And you just want to scoop in one piece of meat and one spoon of rice. You put it together and then you cover it with a bit more. Then I'll put one chestnut into it. I think I can fit a bit more. Let me just fit a bit more. Let me put a mushroom in here. Small shiitake mushroom. I'm gonna put it on top. And then a little bit more rice. I feel like I'm getting a bit too ambitious. Do it like this, the cone, and then you fold the sides. Bend down, sort of just like 
wrap it up. Is it the best looking thing I've ever seen? Not really, but this is only our first try, so. Let's hope the next ones look better. I'm gonna go and get some twine, tie this up, and then we can move on to the next one. Okay, hi, I'm back. I got the twine. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna take some rope and then wrap it up together. I'm gonna blame the fact that the bamboo leaves are imperfect. Probably not their fault. It's probably still my wrapping skills. When life doesn't go well, they blame it on something. I'm just kidding. Don't take that as serious life advice. I'm gonna cut off a piece. I'm gonna tie it up together. Okay, it's not the best looking one, but it is sort of like a tetrahedron. You can already see the leaves are falling apart. Okay, we'll put this one aside. This is our first attempt. Oh my god, if you can't tell, I'm like sweating so much right now because it's really hot in London right now. What's the temperature like right now? I think like 26 degrees, but for some reason it's so hot. I kind of want to take this off, but I don't want to look like a geotikoku. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I just that's just not the aesthetics I'm going for. Okay, I'm back. I had to take the shirt off because it was just way too hot in here. I watched a video on how to do it. I'm gonna try a different method which only uses one leaf. Cut off the end and cut off the tip and then they say you do it like this. At about the middle, you wrap it out like this but you want the tip to be lower than this side, you see? Slightly lower. And then same thing as before, fill it with rice. One piece of meat, bit more rice. Now you see the cone here? Fold the cone like this. Fold it in half. Fold. And then fold. Fold. And fold. There we go. I think this is probably the best looking one we have so far. It is a tetrahedron. And I'm just gonna tie it up. I'm gonna wrap it a few more times so that it's tightly wrapped. I don't think it's necessary, but I'm trying to be safe. Cut off the end. And I'm just tie it together. So I think we're getting better at it. Look, 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 this one is an actual tetrahedron. Triangle, okay, okay, this one, let me, let me, let me fix this little thread. It's a tetrahedron, see? One triangle, two triangle, three triangle, four triangle. There we go. Do you see, do you see the, the glow up? The first one that's like kind of falling apart and now we got a cute looking one. It's small. It's like a bite size, but you know, it's good. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I never thought I would be able to do this. Just look at this. It's it's so cute. It's like an actual tetrahedron. Look at it. Look at the progress. It's so cute. Okay, and this is only using one leaf, so I guess I didn't really have to soak 30 leaves. I just spent, oh my god, whatever. We can use the leaf for some other purposes. Okay, I'm gonna go and finish the remaining ones and I'll see you once we're done wrapping every single one. Okay, bye. Hi, welcome back. So after hours and hours of messing around, we finally got nine perfect looking Jong here. I've decided to stop at nine. I know I said I was gonna make 15, but nine is a lucky number and I don't think I can make any more because a lot of the leaves had cracks in them, which made the wrapping process really hard. I have all the rice mixture here. I'm just gonna maybe pop this in a rice cooker and then you get sticky rice on its own, which is still just as amazing. But anyway, back to the cooking right now. So I have one pot of cold water here. Make sure the water's cold. And then I'm just gonna pop a few in. I'm not gonna put too many in because I don't want another crowd the pot. Um, you want to put them in while the water's cold and then bring it to a boil. When it comes to a boil, turn it down to a low heat so that it can start simmering away for four hours. And if you have a pressure cooker, you can get everything done in one hour, but I don't because I'm a uni student. So we're going to do it the traditional way. So I'm going to cover it up. I'll see you in four hours. Bye. Okay, okay. 
calm down, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat because um, it's going really crazy right now. I'm gonna put you on low. I'm just gonna let it simmer away. Hello, welcome back. It's a new day, so new shirt. Why am I carrying this canister? Because it matches my shirt. And also, the entire color scheme just matches with the junk, so here we are. Um, it hasn't been 4 hours, it's been actually 12 hours because um, I wasn't about to film again at 4am, so I let um, everything simmer for 3 hours last night and then I simmered it again for another 1 hour and now we can taste it fresh out of the pot. The water just smells so good. It smells like I just have a pot of fresh boiled green tea here. And get a spatula because I don't have tongs. Just look at them. Look at these. Oh, it's hot, it's hot. Just look how perfect it is. Look at this. It is so perfectly shaped. It's a triangle on all four sides. It's a perfect tetrahedron. I'll put this one down. It's very hot, so gotta be careful. Just look at this. Look at how perfect looking they are. And they're also plump. This one is a bit bigger, but just look how plump they all look. Okay, I'm gonna open the big one first. Can we get a B-roll in here? It's good! It tastes just like a jong. You wanna try it? Okay. It's good. It's good, right? It's like to be mildly. Mm -hmm. It is already perfect, but I do like my food a little spicier. So, I've got this here. My favorite chili oil, chili sauce. Just gonna add a little bit. Oh my god, just look at this. It's got, it's got the meat. It's got the chili, it's got the rice, got everything. So good. Honestly, Gordon Ramsay who? I bet Gordon Ramsay can't make this. So, better hire me. Well, I guess that's it. I didn't think I was gonna succeed. Didn't necessarily think I was gonna fail, but didn't think I was gonna succeed. So, but we did it. <laughs> we did it, so um, Happy Dragon Boat Festival. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe because I spent three days making this. It was not easy, but it was definitely worth it. And turn on the notification bell and I'll see you soon. Bye.